In this video, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough guide on the Tall Tale for the Lair of LeChuck, the final part three to the Monkey Island Tall Tale series. As usual, you'll start it by this tent on any outpost and you will start it from this book over here. This, of course, will start some talking and eventually open up a portal between the thing over there and you just have to sail your ship through it. As always, I'm going to show you how to get every single commendation for the Tall Tale. The place where you're going to want to park your ship is actually not by the Black Pearl on the right. You're actually going to want to park your ship just in front of that rock down there, as you can see in the distance. So I'm going to go ahead and sail there. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we actually have to hit our ship with a boulder, and it's easiest if we do it on this side over here. As we're going through the gap here between this rock and the, and the shore over here, we're actually parking our ship right there, right along the beach in front of that rock right there. And that should do it right over there. I'm going to go ahead and anchor my ship right in this exact spot. So you can see it's right over there just like this. This is what we want. Now, if we whip out our compass and we go southeast along the beach, we're going to head to the first tree we see. What I mean by that is the tree in the middle of the shoreline like this, this banana tree in front of me. You'll see on the right hand side of it here closest to the water, there is a bench. And this is going to be our first memoir spot that we can sit on for our commendations. Once we've got that, you can actually head straight past the tree here. On the left-hand side, there's some rocks with a note on it. And this is Herman's note. You'll have to collect 10 of these throughout the tall tale as well. This is number one. And now we're going to go ahead and head to the Black Pearl. You can see the sails in the distance over there still should be somewhere to the east or southeast. Head to the ship. You're going to go ahead and climb onto the ship using the stairs over here, or the ladder, I mean. Once you're on the ship, you're going to want to speak to all different three people over here. The first one, just speak to him. Press anyone, just press continue. Just chat to him. Then you're going to head to the main deck over here where the, the chef was. You're going to speak to him as well. And then you're going to speak to this dude up here too. Speaking to all three of them should get you a commendation. And now we're going to go to the front of the ship and we're going to jump off and head to the shore. So we're heading towards that shipwreck over there, but we're going to first get to where the water crosses off in front of us. So just follow along with me over here. Just keep jumping over here. So once you get to this little part, you'll see there's this big tree, this big willow tree. We're going to go to the left of it here, and we're actually going to run up the side. You'll see there is a memoir spot right over here that you can go and sit at and look at that skeleton hanging upside down, which we're going to get to later on. All right, now we're going to go to the actual shipwreck that we saw. So go ahead and go to just outside the shipwreck over here. You'll see on these planks is the next Herman's note that you need to read this one over here. Go ahead, press continue, go through all the dialogue until it is done like that. And then if we go ahead and we look along the beach line heading north, or I believe this is like northeast-ish, go past the broken mast. We're going to go up to this rock that's right in front of us here. You'll see there is another Herman's note right over here that you can go ahead and read. Just continue through it until it closes. And then you're going to continue along this pathway. Eventually, this pathway will take you to Guybrush, and this will kind of be the actual start of the tall tale, essentially. You'll see he'll be giving you a map for three golden idols, and this will reveal the key that we're going to be able to use to open up that big head. So remember where this location is for later. Now, if we go ahead and we look to the right here, there is a rock that is alongside this thing, this big red rock, and you'll see there is a inkwell, which means there is a memoir, which we can sit over here for the next memoir spot, just like this. If we hold Q and we press quests and we go into our quest book and we press E to keep paging over all the way to the right hand side, you should have a map at the very end over here, and you'll see there's two monkey skulls, and then there is a skull of Herman's camp over there. Those are the three locations where you're going to be getting the three golden idol heads that you need to open up or re receive the cotton swab key for this monkey head. For now, we're going to head right into the dead center of this map at the northern side by the cliff. Once you get to the river, you'll just be following it until you see the giant zip line that's connected to the cliff, just like this, right up there. We're going up there. But before that, before you get to the stairs or the ladder or the cliff, whatever you call these rocks that you can climb on, we're actually going to go use a memoir spot that is right in the middle of this middle island here, just on this side of the bridge. We're going to go ahead and sit on this little rock here. And then we can go ahead and climb this wall. So go ahead and climb to the very top here. And then climb the second section that's just immediately after that one over there. As you get to the top of this one, you'll see Herman's next note is right in front of you with banana peels right over here. Go ahead and read through this all the way to the end. Click close. And if we turn to the right and we turn to the right again, right on this edge here, just next to this contraption, there is an inkwell spot that we can go ahead and sit on this red rock here for your next memoir spot. OK, now we're going to use the primitive art. That's what this is called. It's a weird ass name, but that's what it's called. So I like to stand on top of it, right? So I haven't rotated it just yet. We need to aim it that direction right behind this tree because there's something over there. There's a monkey totem. You can barely see it from here that we need to shoot at. So standing on top of it here, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it once to the left, twice to the left. 
three times to the left, four times to the left, and this should be directly in line with the statue. So four times to the left, and then we're gonna go ahead and climb the wall behind us over here. Now, once you're up here, there is a memoir spot that is pretty much in the middle over here. You'll find the inkwell, and just to the right of it, there is a take a seat option, and go ahead and get the next memoir spot like that. And from here, you can actually see where we're aiming at. We're aiming at that thing over there. We're also gonna be aiming at the banana tree down there in the, the, the one that we passed in the, the beach right at the beginning. And then we're also gonna hit our ship with a rock as well. So that's three targets. We're gonna leave our ship for lost and we're gonna take out that monkey statue first. So turn to the right here. You'll see there's a don't touch boulder. So you can go ahead and pick one up. And what we're gonna do is put it on this X marks the spot over here, boom. And you just press F to push it off. And this will go ahead and just yeet it and delete it across space and time. And that first one should take out the statue like that, just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and jump down here and we're going to go ahead and turn this to the left again like this. And this should be aiming at the banana tree, I believe. And then we're going to go back up there and grab another rock. Grab the boulder, go ahead and put it on the Xbox to spot again and push it off. And this should go ahead and yeet it all the way to the beach. This mechanic works so weird. And that goes all the way to the beach there and that should hit the tree. If you did this correctly, you should get the achievement, but that one did hit the tree. I'm pretty sure of it. For the next one, we're going to hit our ship next. So let's go ahead and jump down here. We're going to move this once to the right, two times to the right, three times to the right, and four times to the right. Should be aiming directly like this in this rock in front of you. And then we can go ahead and do a boulder. Put it on the X marks the spot, push it off, and then watch it. There we go. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, is it going to hit our ship? Is it going to hit our ship? It's... Gonna hit our ship, just like that, perfect. You should get the commendation for that immediately as well. I'm back on my ship and doesn't look like we have any holes, so that's a, that's a good sign. I did smash something though. If for some reason you missed and there's no hole to repair, you can always try one notch to the left and actually park your ship right about over there in the middle of my screen. So in the middle over here, and you can see it better from the vantage point. If you wanna check if you hit it, you press tab, go to pirate log, go to reputation, go to tall tales, press the layer of LeChuck, and then look if you have the whoops commendation right over here. If it's not loading, you can always click escape and then press here again. Sometimes it's a bit buggy like that. If this doesn't show up, this means you didn't do it properly. This is a lot easier if you have one person staying here and the other one up there doing it so you can see if you're hitting. Now from the ship's location, you will see there is a smoke signal or a campfire signal with some birds flying over there. We're actually gonna go to where that smoke is. This is at the, near the banana tree. Once you get to Herman's site over here, his campsite, you can see him and you can also speak to him, but on the crate right over here, the one with all the books on it, you can pick up Herman's note that adds to your quest book. This is actually not a note for the uh, Tall Tales, I believe, or the commendation, I mean. Now, while you need to take note of Herman and his locked chest over here, we're gonna actually jump on this rock over here, jump on this rock here and go across this tree. And then you'll see there is a red rock over here with inkwell. We can go ahead and use this because this is another memoir spot. So make sure you collect this. If you check your quest book and you go to Herman's jobs and you go to the even more jobs, you'll see that he has hidden a supply cache key under one of four carvings. So from Herman over here, we're actually gonna go past the trap across this bridge over here, just like this. And this is gonna go over the ravine. You'll see the ravine is on our right. Once you get to this part, we're going to go right on this road, right? So just keep following with me. Keep following here. You'll see at this part, we'll turn to the left. You will see a chicken wood carving, right? So we can go ahead and open this. Now the key is gonna be randomized in the one of four of these. This is the first one, no key in here. The next one, if we actually keep going left over here, we can go left across here. There is a monkey's fist. So take note of that. This is where this will be for something else later in case. But what we're gonna do is go along the road here to the right, follow the path on the right. You'll see this monkey is pointing this way. We're gonna go here and there is a monkey carving. There's nothing in this one either. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back, turn around to the monkey pointing. We're gonna go left. We're gonna go to the fist and we're gonna go to the right pathway this time. So down here. So down to the right here. And then once you get to the main road, turn right. And you'll see the next carving is a pig right over here. Go ahead, open it up. Probably has the key with my luck. Yeah, that's a, that's the key. The final carving in case you didn't have in any of those three is actually up this road here to the right. And you just follow along this road. You'll see the next one is a parrot, just like that. Now we're gonna turn around and we're gonna go to the big ravine that we walked past. So this big hole in the ground over here, you can see this whole bridge and everything goes across it. I'm actually just gonna jump in it, right, to the bottom. There is a ladder down in here as well if you don't wanna take full damage, but it's it's I'm not it's not worth it for me. We're going all the way to the west and you'll see there is a gate over here. Go ahead, open up the gate. Inside this room, there is a note, one of Herman's notes on the right table. Go ahead and read this for the commendation, just like that. 
And then you're gonna go ahead and grab the chilled banana soup out of this chest. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the ladder and go back to Herman's camp. You'll see the waterfall and then the ladder is on the right hand side over here. So take it all the way to the top. Once you get to the top here, all you're gonna do is follow the path on the right and this will lead you directly to his camp. All you gotta do is on the right hand side by this trap that you see this contraption, this little part over here, there's like a little bowl. Go ahead and pour this in there. And then you're gonna stand by this rope over here and you're gonna wait for him to go stand there. So the monkey will drink all the stuff, he will get upset, and then he's gonna go walk there. Once he's fiddling at the rope, you just have to look down and then spring the monkey trap. Just hold F and you're just gonna pull out this peg and boink. <laughs> now with Hing Ham, now with Hing Ham, oh fucking. Now after you've done that, you're gonna go to this rope over here and you're gonna gently tug the monkey trap and that's gonna make him drop something. Then you're gonna briskly jolt it. He's gonna drop something else. And then you're gonna roughly shake it and then he's gonna drop the key that we need for the chest that is right over there. So pick up the key and then we're gonna go ahead and open up this chest just like this and we'll pick up Herman's rowboat map. Now we're gonna walk past him over the bridge just like this. You will have new stuff in your quest book, but don't worry about it just now. Just go across the bridge. We're gonna go left over here and we're just gonna keep heading straight. Past the pathway on the left like that. Keep going straight. The road will curve a bit to the right over here. That's fine. Just keep following with it. You'll see the monkey statue is pointing to the right there. We're gonna go to the left and you'll see there is the golden monkey idol from the totem that we smashed earlier. So go ahead and pick this up. We're actually gonna go ahead and hand this in to the big hand first. So what you're gonna do is look at that monkey statue with the pointing and we're gonna go there, see where it's pointing, go and follow where it's pointing. Follow along on the road. We're just gonna follow the road to make it easier for you. See, there's another monkey pointing to the left. Just follow it. Another monkey pointing to the right. Follow the monkeys, just keep following the monkeys, stick on the road. You get very confused if you skip off the road. Follow this monkey all the way here, turn left. You'll see there is a monkey pointing that way. And this is where the big hand is, where we're gonna collect or hand in all of these monkey totems, right? So there's the first one. When you get the other two, you're gonna bring it to this exact same location. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to that broken totem yet again. So I'm just gonna follow all the monkeys that I saw and follow along this pathway that we took to get here. So just keep following all the monkeys in reverse this time until you eventually get to the big statue totem thing like this. From here, we're actually gonna head west. So as we turn here, you'll see if we go west, there's a pathway that is left, the first left, and it has a compass on a crate. Well, actually it's an old pocket, pocket watch. And if you look directly opposite this, there is a note on the floor by Herman, and we're gonna go ahead and read this for one of our commendations. Well, out of the 10 we need. And then you're gonna pull out your compass and you're gonna head on Northwest, keep going down this road over here. You'll see there is a pirate flag over there. We're actually just gonna take a shortcut and on this right thing, just jump over to here. You'll see there's a big pond. This is ultimately where Herman's uh, rowboat quest guides us to this boot. There's a boot, reach inside the boot, that's gross. This will update your quest book and you'll see if we page ahead, go to the last one. Now, this is gonna have three, or actually I think four different options for different people of where you're supposed to dig. You'll see on my one, the very bottom one says, dig where my clothes are hung out to dry. But you might have a dagger, you might have bottles, or you might have a fence. I'm gonna show you all four locations, right? So first we're gonna go ahead and we turn around and we're gonna face north. And we're basically gonna head to where we were earlier for, the, for that big wall. Remember the big wall? This one in front of me right here, you can't miss it. Right, this is the big wall. So the close is literally right over here. So if I go ahead and I dig just here, I should find it. There you go, there's the, the robot oars, just what I needed. Now, if you have the daggers instead, you're gonna look over here to this tree trunk. You'll see there is a dagger over here. You can go ahead and dig in this little spot here and you'll get the, the robot ore as well. Now, if you have the bottles, the crates of, of bottles, it's gonna be right over here by this tree. You can see this location. So you're just gonna dig here to get your robot ores. If you have the fence, the fence is actually gonna be the one that's right in front of the climbable wall. This is the fence, go ahead and dig here. Once you've got your robot ores, look at the wall and look this way. You'll see there is a robot over there that we're gonna go ahead and attach this to and start using this robot. So attach the robot like that, push the robot from behind. We're gonna get this one into the water and we're gonna follow along this river pathway down here. So jump in and you're gonna have to row the boat. We do, we do need the boat, so you have to take it. If you've never used a rowboat before, sit in it, turn your camera all the way like this, and then your left key is gonna make you turn to the left and your right key is gonna make you turn to the right. I mean like A and D on, on a keyboard, you know, your WASD. When it opens up into this bigger spot here, you can only go right, so we're gonna go right. Remember that hanging skeleton that we found earlier? Once you see the hanging skeleton, we're gonna go and, and basically park underneath that. But be, before we do that, I'm actually gonna stop right here 
and we're gonna jump out at this little opening over here. So here's the skeleton, right? Turning around this big tree over here. We're gonna go ahead and quickly go here. You'll see just in front of this tree is a Herman's note. So go ahead and read this note for your commendation. And then we're gonna go ahead, back, get back on the robot and we have to park this directly under the skeleton so that we can grab what he has, All right? So we're gonna face here. Try, try just tap the keys instead of holding it so you don't go too fast and go past this entire area. All right, let go, that should be fine. Nope, there we go, I can reach it now. And then go ahead and grab the buried idol map. Now, if you go ahead and open up your quest book, this can be buried at one of three different locations. The first one is the banana tree. Basically, if you head all the way to the south on the beach over here, you just have to dig anywhere around this tree and you will get the idol. The next one is the monkey fist, which I actually have right now. The best way to find this is by the big ravine. More specifically, if you're on this side of the ravine, on the northern side, where you can see the ladder just like that, we're going to turn around and we're actually going to go past here, past the carvings that we saw earlier. Remember, left of the chicken, and you'll see the fist is over here and you just dig to find the thing, just like this, as you can see I got right now. The third location is actually close to the Sea Monkey shipwreck, right? So when you go to this location, turn left, and you'll see there's a pond over here with a broken down rowboat. And I believe the picture is something like this, where you can see the rowboat like this, and then you can go ahead and dig in the spot that it shows you. And if you go just south of where the skeleton's hanging, you should be able to find the hand where you can go ahead and place the second idol, just like that. And now we're gonna head west. So look at the big cliff like this. We're gonna be heading this direction that I'm going right now. Eventually you will see a mast that is chilling over here with two skeleton cages and you'll see the second one has a shiny thing which is the monkey idol head that we need. It's actually the hardest one to get, believe it or not. But before we do anything from this angle, we're actually going to jump on this rock over here, jump off onto these planks and you'll see there is another Herman's note. Go ahead and read this to completion, just like that. Now if we look to the west and the northwest, you'll see there's all those waterfalls. We're actually going to go up there this time and we're going to go take the path on the right to go up and do it. You can't really get lost along this pathway. It's kind of super simple. It's you just got to make sure you don't fall down. Just keep running there. We're heading to where that flag is over there. Go across the bridge over here where the suntan spot is. And we're going to go ahead and jump like this. And we're going to go ahead and climb here. Climb the second one. And then go ahead and jump in the water and then just swim across here to that door. Now what you're going to do is run up to this door here and you'll see one of two locations circled in red. And the, that location is going to show you where the key is. It can either be where the cannon is or where mine is in the water, right? So if it's at the cannon, it's at the top right over there, and you'll see there's a bunch of like wardrobes of things you can open to see if the key's inside there. And if it's in the water here, it's it's honestly just in the water down here by all this broken stuff. And what you're looking for are these white rocks which you're gonna have to move until you find the key. There are a ton of them, so swim around here until you find one that has the key underneath it. I like to move a bunch of them at once and see, there's the key like this. Go ahead and open up the door just like that. Once you're in here on the table, there is Herman's next note that we're gonna go ahead and read. So go ahead and read this one to completion, just like that. And now the whole point of being up here is to actually open up this cannon shutter and use this cannon on the mast down there that we want to destroy so that that cage can come down. The first thing we need to do is open up the shutter. So using this contraption right in the middle, the pulley, we're gonna go ahead and pull this all the way open. And you'll notice that you cannot actually move the cannon because it's rusted to the spot. So what you need to do is get banana grease, which is gonna have to happen from the recipe. When you look to the right of this table, read the recipes here. You're gonna read the recipe for banana grease, and this is going to tell you how to make banana grease and also put it to your quest book. And now you have to make banana grease. The first thing we're gonna do though is grab wood from this supply chest. You'll see there's also bananas in here. So wood and bananas, right? We're gonna go outside to the right of this hut. You'll see there is a campfire. If you guys didn't know this, you can actually use planks on any campfire on any island in the game. Use your lantern, hold right click to hold it out and then ignite it. And then now you actually have a fire. Now what we need are three burnt bananas, two coconut shells, not actual normal coconuts, coconut shells and suntan oil. So make sure you grab some bananas and put them in your inventory. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and cook them. So grab a banana, put it in here and let it cook until it's black. There we go, the banana is burnt. Go ahead and take it off. If you press your food button or three over and over again on PC, you can swap to normal bananas. Go ahead and put a normal one in and go grab the burnt one, go back inside the hut and you're gonna go ahead and put it in this pot. You will need to add three burnt bananas in there. There's the second one just about to burn and we put the third one down for cooking. Put the second burned one in the pot and grab the third burnt banana, just like this, and put it in the pot. Now to find coconut shells, you can open up these crates over here. Usually there is one lying around somewhere here. 
Go open up these crates. Um, unlucky this time. No, wait, there's one there. Coconut shell. Perfect. We go ahead and add this directly in there. That's one. We need a second one. The second one can actually be found at the cannon right at the top there in one of those furniture things. So just follow along this pathway through the waterfall to get to that location at the top. Once you're up here, you're going to go ahead and open all these different things and you're going to look for another coconut shell. There's one at the top right of this thing over here. Coconut shell. Go ahead back to the house and put this in the pot. Now the final thing we need is suntan oil and the place we get that is from where that suntan warning was which is actually in a hole right above there. I'm going to saw dash here but you can also go from down there into this little pit there. So if you come that way through here back where we came up here this time we're just going to jump down into the water right over here and you should see there is a suntan oil on the water here and you're just going to swim to the east to get out of this like area because there's no other way out. Once you swim all the way to the end here you're going to turn to the right and you'll see the exit is right over here just like this. We're going to exit on the left and we're going to go ahead and jump in this water and we're basically going to go back all the way to that hut again. Once you're at the hut, you're going to go ahead and put this in the pan or pot thing like that. And then you're going to open up this cupboard on the left and you'll see there's an empty jar. We're going to use this to collect fresh banana grease. So hold F to fill this jar up like that. And then we're going to use half of it on the cannon just like this. Now don't forget this banana grease. We actually do need it again. So put it down here or a place where you can remember. And now what we're gonna do is push the cannon out like this. Grab cannonballs if you need to from here, if you don't have. And then go ahead and use the cannon. And what you're gonna do is aim at the mast over there. I think last time I aimed about this high and I got it. Let's see if this works still. You can actually let go and you can use your spyglass and see if it makes the shot like that. Uh, we shot right over it. And let's go ahead and see if that is gonna hit. That should hit, boom. If it does that, you've done it correctly. Now go ahead, grab your banana grease, hold it in your hands like this, and then turn outside on the right, but beyond your campfire over here, you'll see there is a zip line. You can zip line while holding this, so don't worry. Use the zip line like this and go all the way down here. Once you're down here, you'll see there is a pond on your right. Keep heading towards the moss like this. You will see there's Herman's note on the rock on the left over here with the banana peel. So put down your banana grease, go ahead and read this, click continue all the way to completion to add it to your commendations and then pick up your banana grease and head back to the moss. All right, so when we get here, put down your banana grease on the floor. You'll see that this one is locked and we need to do something to open this. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course it's difficult. But the second one, however, has the stuff that we need or at least some of it, right? So the first thing is the gunpowder gummy. Go ahead and grab this and put it on the lock over here because yes, we're going to explode this off. And if we go ahead and grab our banana grease and we look southwest. So if we look this direction over here, you'll see there's some skulls on spikes over here. Go ahead and go to these skulls and spikes. What we're going to do is put our banana grease over here and we're going to interact with the one in the middle. It's going to tell us that it could be loosened. And the only way we're going to loosen it is by using this banana grease on here. So grease the spike like this and then we can go ahead and take the skull off just like that. That's perfect. Now we are going to come back here later, but not right now. Right now, we actually have to go all the way to the Black Pearl again. Yes, I told you this one, it was going to be difficult. So when you're at the Black Pearl, if you look on the beach in front of it at this like broken crate over here, there is a stand, a spyglass stand that we can go ahead and raise. And we're basically going to link a bunch of lights all the way from here, which is actually from that mirror over there all the way to the other side. But you'll see something's missing over here. But if you look on the ground, there's footsteps and there's banana peels. We're just going to go ahead and follow this. So this is going to go up here, up the pathway to the left. And you should see about halfway up over here, it stops about here and you can go ahead and get the spyglass and go attach it to the stand. So attach it just like this, nice and easy. If you go ahead and you use it, you'll see it will lead you to where the next location is and it takes us to that skull. So if we run across here, run across the planks all the way to that skull, we're going to go ahead and remove the skull over here and you'll see it gives you a hint where it has coconuts on the left and the right. We actually have to put a coconut there, but we need a very specific coconut and that is on the black pearl. So if we go to the ship wheel on the Black Pearl over here, you'll see there is Captain Coco from the, the first one, the first Tall Tale. Go ahead and speak to it, and then you can go ahead and rescue it, which is going to take it off of the wheel. So there we go. It's going to put it over here, but it's going to say it needs help to see. So we need to find a special thing for it, which is going to be at the shipwreck, which is directly in front of us, which is right over there. So go ahead and go to the shipwreck. When you get to the shipwreck, we're going to go into this back cabin over here. So go jump in the water, go through this door right over here. And you'll see there's a big cupboard over here that we can go ahead and move the debris. Go ahead and open up the doors and you'll see inside are cereal boxes that you can go ahead and pull like this. And then you'll see you can search inside of them and it will reveal like a little toy that's in each one. So open up both cupboards and then check all the cereal boxes until you get the thing. It seems to be in a random place each time that you do this. 
eventually you will get this Toys Admiral monocle. Go ahead and take this to Captain Coco on the Black Pearl. Go ahead and repair Captain Coco, and then you can go ahead and pick it up just like this. And then we're going to take it to that, that stand again, and we're going to just hook him up on the spike. It sounds like he's had a great upgrade from ship wheel to spike. So it's here by all these wardrobes and furniture stuff. Go ahead and put him on here and you'll see the light will shine off of him in that direction over there. So it goes to that rock in the distance there by where that crate is. So we're going to go to this rock here. And you'll see there's another spyglass stand over here. This one we just have to raise. It's got the spyglass attached already. And what you can go ahead and do is use the mounted thing and go see where it goes. Just like this. And now that all the lights are set up, we need to head back to where the mast is, where the skeleton cages are. So at the cages over here, we're actually going to look past the mast and we're actually going to go over the debris just like this. So follow along with me right here. We're going to go over here and we're going to go straight across the bush here, straight over here into this little area over here. And then you're going to see this fallen down tree. And on the right hand side over here, you'll see there's this colored plant. And right if we keep going this direction, you'll see there is a hanging contraption over here, which we can go ahead and just cut like this. And then it's going to be a crate full of um, coconut shells. And we're going to go ahead and take this to where the banana greased spike was. So from the skeleton cages, if we go southwest, you'll see the spike is over there. And what we're going to do is plonk this down and we're going to go ahead and grab a coconut shell and we're going to place it on top here. We're going to grab another coconut shell and we're going to place it on top here as well. Just like this. Do give it a second for the timer to give you time. And then go place the third one just like that. And then we need the skull from the other skeleton over here. So this skeleton skull, this gold tooth skull, we're gonna go ahead and put this at the very top, just like this. And then the light will shine off of the tooth, just like this. Once you've done that, it will actually blow up in the cage and you'll see we can actually now grab the monkey, monkey idol head and go ahead and take this to the giant hand. And then now you will get the cotton swab key. And no, it's not just a uh, rowboat or covered in toilet paper, promise. And now we're going to go ahead and go back to Guybrush, which is past the shipwreck, if you don't remember, past this way, on the northeast side of the map. Once you get to him, he will open up this gate and you can go through into this new area. Now, before we do anything, what we're going to go ahead and do is put down the key thing. And then we're going to look to the right and you'll see a crate over here. And this is a memoir spot that you need to sit on and collect. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and pick up the cotton swab key. And what do you do with cotton swabs? You put them in your ears. So go to this left ear of the monkey over here and you're going to put this in its, the ear of its hole, its hole of its ear. Wait until he finishes speaking and then you can get the prompt and then you're going to gently wiggle it. And then just like the thing earlier, you're going to have to do this three times. And then the third time, a violent wiggle, and this will go ahead and start opening it. Once he's finished talking, you can take the head of the navigator. Now, the way this head works is it's actually going to look in the direction you need to walk. And it kind of acts like a one of those moving compasses, which is kind of odd. We're going to go through here, and we're going to basically climb this rib, rib cage all the way down. And as soon as you're in here, you're actually going to go ahead, put the head on the ground. And right behind where Guybrush is standing, you'll see there is a mushroom that you can go ahead and use the memoir sitting spot on just like this. And now we're going to go ahead and head across these three bridges. There's nothing here for now. So one bridge, the second bridge, and the third bridge over here heads into a tunnel. Now the next thing you're looking for is the first time you see lava. If you follow the head, it is going to get you lost. It's going to take you down that dead end over there. But I, I don't know how this works. It's weird. Keep following the head until you see molten lava again. Even Guybrush will talk about the molten lava. Once you hear this, you have to look at the left over here by the lava section, and you'll see here's the first of the five journals that you need to read. So go ahead and read this to completion, and then pick up the skull again, and we're going to continue along where the head is facing. A pro tip with the skull is take your time, because the more you rush, the quicker you get lost, and Guybrush doesn't really follow along quick enough. Eventually, you're going to go down a pathway that looks like this and it has a sneaky lift. So you're going to keep out an eye for a lift like this on top of the cliff that has this lava down there, like a lava bridge. And you'll see there's a journal here and down there as well. This one is right on the edge of the cliff, just like this. So go ahead and read this one, pick up the head, and then you're going to continue going downwards. And immediately as you take a lift over here, you'll see the next journal is here too. Then you're going to continue following where the skull leads you. You'll eventually go down some stairs and you will find a skull and Guybrush will go ahead and interact with it immediately as soon as you find it like that. That means you're going ahead on the right path. Make sure you found all three journals before you get to this point because otherwise you missed them. Now you're going to go ahead and you're going to go up the stairs over here and you'll see immediately on your left at the top is the fourth journal that you need. And then continue along this pathway over here. You'll see you'll go across a bridge like this and then right in front of you will be the fifth and final journal that you need to read. There we go, like that. 
From this journal, it's very easy to get lost. So what you're gonna do is go on this platform here. You're gonna jump up here. Instead of going through there, you're gonna go to the right and you're gonna jump down on this platform and you're gonna go ahead this way, like this in here. And then this should drop into some water. And then there's a water slide for you. This kind of reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean <laughs> tall tales where you had to slide down like one of the specific pathways. This one does not have that, or does it? Eventually you'll get to a part where Guybrush will ask for the skull or the head back and you'll go ahead and give him the head back. And then as you turn the corner, you will see LeChonk's <laughs> Le <Chonk. laughs> Le ship. And what you're gonna do is at this inkwell right over here, before you do anything else, is look at this little corner here and go ahead and take in this memoir spot for the, I think that's the final memoir spot, yeah. And now you're gonna ensue in a, a ship chase on lava, which is gonna be fun. You will need to steer the ship as well as like lower the sails so that you can sail across and chase LeChonk's ship. <laughs> LeChuck's ship, I'm sorry, it's too good. When you eventually end up in a big cavern, you can either try fight if you have your own teammates, like if you're playing multiplayer to destroy LeChonk's ship, you have to destroy it three times for this like whole thing to progress. If you're doing the solo like I was, it's actually best to slow your ship down to like one sail halfway and then let your two NPCs in the front just shoot out of the front of your ship to take out uh, LeChuck's ship. After you destroy LeChuck's ship three times, you'll be teleported to Melee Island and you will have to go to the church. If you somehow forgot where the church was, it's right after the bell, after the shop here. The church is literally this big building over here on the right and you're just going to go in here and it's going to start a cutscene. This will ensue into a sword fight with LeChuck. You will have to do three separate fights with him. And this will be the um, insults and retorts system, which you guys love from uh, Tall Tale number two. And because you guys love it so much, here is a complete list of all the insults and the retorts to match so that you can beat him three times and defeat him in each of the three different areas until you finally beat this Tall Tale. I hope you guys had a good time. Once you're done, all you got to do is sail your ship through the portal to leave. And thank you guys so much for watching.